Alrighty guys, so we have round three for you. Both players sat down ready to go. Dan on our right and Ben on our left. Dan the hard man Harbin. I think this is a debut stream I believe for Ben. Yeah. Both uh, both very familiar with each other from uh, I think previous games as well. So it'll be interesting to see how they uh, slap each other around just a little bit. So I can see backups in both players hands. So let's see how we go. So Dan is showing us the good. So he's Fire got water. some Firewater cards in there. I think he drew a few of the Palamporum. So we could be seeing those combo. Yeah. Maybe we'll finally see someone do the combo of sacking Palamporum off at the same time. Do 10k? Nah. Is now the moment? Maybe not. <laughs> we'll see. It looked like Ben was uh, a little bit struck for whether to mulligan or not. But uh, I think we are just waiting on the round now. To begin, so both players are ready to go. So I wonder if we just give them a wave. Let's see. No, time, time is still not going yet, Jacko. I think we got some time. Oh, we got some time. Have a bit of a chat. I think players are still getting sat down at their tables, getting ready to go. You can always, you can always tell the disrespectful players. Not for because they like to sit down, but there's always the ones that have uh, pulled great cards, yeah. went to buy cider. <laughs> Looking at you, Mason. Um, <laughs> so. so it looks like all tables are set, ready to go. So uh, Gareth is ready. Uh, he's, I think Louis is distracting him. Louis, Finley, Finley, go away. Shh, Finley, shh. <laughs> No, just yeah, I'm, yeah, I'm giving the players a thumbs up. We can go. Gareth's giving us the nod. He's going to start oh, the time. Cool. And away we go. Yeah, he could have held the go for right now. Ah, yeah. <laughs> There's no timer. We don't have a timer. Up. I Chance can see a timer. Uh, you're, you're Dude, no, I actually can't. It's behind no, me on yeah, yeah. side. It's fine. As long as one of us can see it. Absolutely. We're a team. We're a two-headed dragon. Boom. Double back. I'm straight back off the back. Getting thing. a crystal. Getting earth and fire cards down. Uh, so let's see. So getting water back up down for Dan. Loading that Alphano in break zone. Ready to pair it with an Alice later, I imagine. Getting Goldsmith down. So fire back up of his own. Uh, and a pass the turn. So both players getting some nice backup turns down. I think Ben has got... Uh, Double Johnny, so he can really fix his backups here. Mate, that just sounds dodgy. Double, Double Johnny. Johnny. <laughs> it, so, it sounds like a, a so, yeah. It sounds like the kind of thing that Johnny would say when you look at the character. Funny. So, I believe he gets any character back as well. So, uh, and I think we have Kieran and Aerith as our other cards. So, I think a Johnny into a minor is a really nice turn here because uh, you can play minor next turn. Okay, uh, so, so opting go to go for the warp on the area. Again, I, I, do you know what I'm loving about this pre-release is seeing how everyone uses different cards. Like, we are getting a full spectrum of what comes in these boxes. So, yeah, okay, and now going for the uh, Johnny. Uh, is Johnny forward or character? I think Only he may be character. Way. His character, I would have been inclined to have got the minor backup, which he then could have played off his three backups yeah, next turn. Would have been the perfect curve. Which would have been a really been. nice curve, and it can grab a backup to get you to five backups. Uh, especially as Dan seems to have uh, slowed down a bit and he's warped the Lunar Freya. This is the one that has, I believe, warp three. Uh, and when it enters, choose one forward, bounce it, and your opponent selects one forward and puts it in the break zone. Long old warp time, though. It is a longer walk time, so Dan getting a low parit of his own, being able to look at the top two, draw and discard, Garland being one of them, not quite enough backups, and yeah, putting that card straight back to the bottom of the deck. He's got Palom as one of the cards, but no crystal as of yet. Oh. Aerith ticks down. Ben. So he's got a Noctis in hand. He's got a Noctis, very nice card. I think we probably see Kieran first. Yeah. Kieran getting value on the attack triggers, so I'm really want to get this Kieran card, down man. as soon as possible. Ben's got a nice answer now. He's got this three CP Earth back up that when it enters the field can choose one dull forward. If your opponent does not pay three, break it. Oh, it's Nelly the Elephant. Right? Yeah, Nelly the Elephant. Pack the trunk and said goodbye to the circus. <laughs> 
So Dan's got Shinryu in hand. But I think you will probably a, see Owaka first. Yeah, I mean, why? Waka. You know, perfectly curve. Yeah, it gets and he's got Palom. Uh, yeah, Palom there. Uh, yeah. From and, Elder and as well. The, yeah, and the Grahard here. So I think yeah, the Owaka draw to discard. So I think Dan is on three elements. So he's probably. Hoping Digging for more lightning colours, trying to get a lightning backup online. Gotta be said as well, after hearing the interview, I think there is only one correct way to pronounce Phoenix. It's Phoenix. Phoenix? Yeah. Phoenix. You, uh, you gotta do it like a 1920s gangster. <laughs> so, Dan's got the Grahatia in hand, and I'm assuming he's playing the Alice that is the box topper. So, he, he has got a really nice turn. Yeah, so Phoenix. Phoenix. So choosing to burn both crystals to save the Kieran. So buffer by 2k, buffer by 2k. Uh, I guess it kind of removes both crystals. Aerith come down and get the Arden back from Break Zone. We've got the Arden, we've got Hedgehog Pie and Noctis there. So looks like Dan can remove four characters from the game. But what it's, what I'm saying is is if Dan's got Lightning CP in hand, he can go Graha Tia into Alice, into Alphano. Oh, that, that, that sounds like the hand, dream, man. One cut in hand, has he develops got, three forwards, has he removes got the, one of your Has opponents. he got the Lightning, or is he going to draw the Lightning? That's what we need. Yeah. So it would, and, and the Graha Tia would be a 10k because he does have the Cat 14, the standard unit backup. And you got to think a after. Good way to kill this Kieran who has gained 2k brave from the Noctis entry. Yeah. He's going to be swinging in as a 9k brave, gaining, gaining a crystal. crystal. Yeah. First damage of the game. Is a Mont Blanc. No EX burst there. So, Come on. A plus. Get, so get, get, us, get us the lightning. Show CP. us the lightning. Come on. CP. Come on. Uh, I didn't see it. Too quick. Come too on, Hammer. He's counting number of cards in hand. He's trying to work out uh, orders. So. No. Looks it like it's fire water by looks like I don't think it was yeah, lightning. Um, so uh, I think yeah, it looks like it's a Shin Ryu. Is there a world in which his opponent does have three forwards? Can he play Shin Ryu for two CP and get a lightning card and still be able to afford it? I think I don't think he'd be able to afford it. I mean, just play the Shin Ryu, hold off. I a mean, turn, right? still playing the Shin Ryu for two yeah. CP feels good. No, he's not going to go that way though. No, he's over. Fine. Yeah, he's over. Get the Shinryu up. Is I'm it, pretty sure. Is it compulsory? Uh, I think it's supposed to be if they got three more, maybe. Otherwise, you might have to get. It might have to get your skates on. Uh, I think it's a. It says it is reduced, so yeah, I don't know if you can overpay. Controls. <laughs> yeah, I think I think he may have just uh, you know, paid by mistake there, so. Uh, Conversation going on. Sorry, I'm trying to also eavesdrop in and find out what's actually being said. But I think the uh, the crux of it is can't overpay by the three CP. I mean, I think it works out fine for for Dan here. He, he gets a card back in hand. Um, and uh, so just to clarify that, so the yeah, the cost is reduced. Uh, I think Ben was just uh, asking that to clarify that he thought you could overpay. You can overpay, but not by more than one CP per element. And with Shinro only being the one element, the max Dan could pay for it would be three CP. So I think the compromise was that Dan has paid the three CP for it mm -hmm. and taken the hippocampus back to hand. I mean, uh, was it necessary for? For Dan to you know need to overpay like that anyway. No, no, but I think Dan didn't realise. Right, right. Really. Oh. So okay, so he has been able to still afford the Grahatia into Alice, which I'm assuming will then come down into Alpha. Oh. What a turn oh. of events! We, we, we've seen the dream. He didn't pick the full out. He's got <gasps> double Alice then. Oh. 
He didn't pick the more <coughs> scientifically proven powerful one, though. Yeah. So Alpha here we go. Uh, Wallace. I assume Wallet, yeah, yeah. Dolby Kieran. Yeah. And then uh, Ben has to pick it to be removed from game. What? Everything came out this turn. The only thing that could have would be Foynix, but I don't think you want to be removing your Brazen. Foynix. Yeah. Foynix. It's never not going to be called that. Forever. It sounds a bit like Goofy. Like, <laughs> <laughs> Foynix. Foynix. <laughs> <laughs> Alrighty. Let's see if Ben can respond to this turn from Ben. I don't know. It looks like he's got a few backups in hand there. Uh, is that the Ifrit? No, Hedgehog Pie. Looks like you've got a Hedgehog Pie. I think an I think, Alice of I think, his own. I think it's that Blacksmith. It's, one, it's either Blacksmith or Goldsmith, I believe. A uh, huge swing of momentum turn in Dan's favour. Getting a whole heap of forwards down. Yeah, it looks like it is the Blacksmith. So when forwards attack, deal something 7k. I wonder if Ben just tries to start swinging in with some of these forwards and removing things. So here's, yeah, so here is the Blacksmith coming yeah. down. Attack, so deal some damage, when, try and wipe some stuff out. Yeah, so it could kill either a couple of things or just try and kill one of the Grahatia or the Shinrai. Okay. Happy to throw the Aerith under the bus. I guess if you... I think if you're down, you block with the Alphano because it's 6k compared to the Aerith. Uh, red 13, I believe. It's just kind of damage. Yeah, so... Yeah. Another 7. Noctis is... Uh, I think the area has 5k, so I think I would have blocked with the Alpha No, knowing that it wouldn't have died in the block, and knowing that it probably gets killed by the 7k attack. Yeah, exactly. <coughs> Possible misplay from uh, from Dan there, really. But so it looks like Dan is going to try and respond by removing four things to play the Phoenix, you block said, with the Phoenix. You said it wrong. Boynux. There it is. Boynux. It's gone from 1920s gangster to a bit of goofy. So, could do the Noctis trigger. If you've got enough removal, this is a really nice way of actually... The Noctis is really sticky. I, I had this playing against Alex on the weekend where I just kept breaking the Noctis over and over again until eventually they had no characters left because <laughs> they just kept trying to keep it on board. But So if you can draw enough removal, it... You know, can can sometimes be damaging in this limited format. Not hurting Ben too much right now because he's got rid of a fire backup with one already on board. I'm trying to look. I think he has the five CP Cecil, which is what I imagine he might be playing now. Or is he just okay? No, he's just going to play the Hedgehog Pie and discard his backup to play another Hedgehog Pie. So, opting to go for the two 5k yeah, things fin and using one the of them Phoenix. to Phoenix. I mean, you got to think next attack, right? Aerith goes after the Shinryu and well, finishes So, Luna Freya is going to come around. I assume Luna Freya is going to bounce Noctis back to hand. Uh, so, Luna Freya will now get to bounce and then your opponent selects one forward and put it in the break zone. So, so both effects go on the on the stack so you stack them in a way that the bounce effect happens first and then the uh, choose one dull forward break it so interesting so it looks like it looks like they bounce the air and let the Noctis die I guess in a way just to kill another forward I, don't, I believe Ben put a backup into the brakes on there as well. Was yeah, that was on the Noctis. So right. he sacked the Noctis yeah. on the Luna Freya and then got rid of the backup. Yeah. Uh, so I think we're just specifying the, the timings. Yeah, so yeah, yeah I, I, I think they weren't clear on the timings. So yeah, he bounced the Noctis and so that he has to kill the arrow, which is the yeah. right way of doing it. Uh, Shinra are going to come in with Brave. First point of damage coming Ben's way. Uh, oh, no EX burst, Grahad's here, come in. Samuel. 10k, EX burst, oh. shoot something for 6k. Not he killed the Freya. Goodbye. Not the end of the world. Actually thinking, uh, yeah. Ooh. So, actually changing. Just gone after the Shinryu for that though? 
I think the Groha Tier is more threatening. The Groha Tier is a 10k, whereas Shimmer is only a 9k. Would that be enough though if it's 10k? Yeah, 6 plus 5. So six. So Garland does two k per backup. I keep thinking it's uh, it, it's it's just three k. Oh, like chart. Goblin. Yeah. yeah. yeah, yeah. Uh, so we're going to warp the Morrow, uh, and we're going to go Kadage when it enters. Reduce something's power by four k. Also, we'll do it when it leaves the field. So it gives you an opportunity to trade up on the Shinryu when Dan chooses to attack. Still feels like so, anyone's oh, game, right? Dan's drawn himself a Zat here. Don't know if he can do much with it. He's also got the Assassin, but I would have to have a lot of Lightning CP. Oh, and we got Alice. Oh, baby. Are we about to see another board explosion? Oh, he's have, got Zach too. Have we got another Grad here? Because if we got another Grad here, being able to like Alice. No. Oh, sorry, if, no, we've got another Alpha Note in depth. Because if we do. Alice into Gratia into oh. Alpha Note from deck would be tasty. I mean, it's still tasty just going Alice into Alpha Note. Yeah, I've spent a lot of pressure on board to, to bend one, yeah. you know, blocker here. Yeah, so which I think is what we're going to see. Yeah. Boom, and there's and the Alice. And it's the lovely full out for once. That's why he. Dan knew he was saving it for later. <laughs> yeah, uh, but clearly more powerful. Doing the damage reduction. Uh, as it leaves so getting the double attack in uh, you've now got four forwards on board four. passing turn your opponent only this. has three backups to play with yeah this is a, this is not looking good for Ben here I assume we see Noctis come down as one of the cards but to really save yourself you need a second forward to come down as well he's got which red I, 13 in hand you can't play it because I think no. red you need to have another cat 7 forward on the board no, so I Noctis is going to come down Too little, too late, it feels like, don't it? Can you get yeah. anything back? No. I think that's all she be, wrote. It's only going to be a 7k. I, have we got Earth CP? Because I think I can see. He's got Behemoth. Deal 7. Yeah, a scoop. Yeah, yeah, a scoop. There it is. Oh, what a good game. That was a great game. Real nail biter uh, for the very start, but then Dan pulling away. That, that yeah. little combo with the Scions is nice. Yeah, I really thought Ben had a really, some really nice early turns, but out of nowhere, Gratia, Alice, Alpha, no, flipped the game on its head. Wow. I guess we'll have to go get down on stream. I, oh, you make I, it sound like it's a bad thing. I no, can't it, wait to sound like No, but I was really nice about him for once, so you can't be upset with me this time. True, after <laughs> the essay you got sent on uh, <laughs> yeah. Discord last yeah, time. that was funny, though. Cool. We were right. going to be right back then, guys, and we'll see if Dan wants to come give us a chat. So instead of interviews with Dan, what we've gone for is Dan and Ben are now playing a game with new cards. There are some proxies in there, but seeing some new cards in play. Yeah, we've already, uh, we're a couple turns in. We didn't realise they were going to do a friendly. We were going to do the interview, but... We get to see Susney in action again, which is absolutely. Great. So looking like Dan going for a new Turk package. I oh, can yeah. see he's got the new Reno in there. Not sure about the new Rude, but uh, got the new Susney as well. So and I think running the new Ramu, what I can see. Don't know if Ben is running any new cards, but it looks like we've got a bit of a soiree, multicolor goodness build going on. You'd like to think as well that uh, if. Dan is running the new Ram. He's probably running a new Mateus as well yeah. with Ice Seer. So. And already, I'll spoil a Cisne coming in, doing work, and dulling and freezing I, I, that. Mate, it's such a good card like for, for a 2 CP backup. Absolutely, especially one that looks like Dan has searched turn one off President, President Shinra. Really oh. nice. This, this could be hard on the, hard so on the hands, though, Dan. Dan going into Ark. Uh, sorry, Ben going into Ark and getting the Zidane. Can Dan find a discard? Nero's just gone into damage. I think he's got one in his hand. So if he can pay this Nero and then follow it up with a vice, which he's got a vice in hand, which is superly easily done, I think this is definitely the line of play because you'll you'll get to four backups. You can dull and freeze a character and get rid of this sedan before it comes down and causes problems. And this will be Ben's third copy of Zidane. I can see he's got two in break zone already. Yeah, you you, you got to get rid of the Tyro or the Lexa here, Evan. You just keep it out of commission. Yeah. So I do think we're going to be seeing Nero 
into Vice. We may even... I think Dan's got a... Dan's got an Al Sid in hand. So I wonder if we could have... I wonder if we have other ICP. Is there a world in which we could have gone... Have we got... Oh, see, now we don't have ICP. I think if we'd discarded the... Uh, and he's just past turn. Oh, I mean, see, you know he's got a sedan, right? I, I would have got rid of the song instead of the vice, and then I would have discarded the vice usurp and the, and the Rami. Is he thinking they're just casting the Rama though? Yeah. Yeah. But you would have got rid of the Zidane. You would have you would have frozen the Knoll. You would have frozen the Knoll with the Al Sid, so the Knoll wouldn't have been able to get to attack. Ooh, and Fissilis going down. Okay, so let's see what we've drawn. Okay, we've got the Reno. So we can we can play Reno on curve and give it haste. To play the Rude. I wonder if he's playing the new Rude that can Dell and Freeze. Even better, we can do it off the Al Cid to freeze both of these forwards. So there's... Oh, wait, the Al Cid got removed from game, sorry. Oh, okay, no, he's just going to lightning yeah, and kill those I, think that's, I think that's a great thing to do. Yeah, he, it still lines you up for the Reno oh. turn next turn. Hit, Did you hit in the Leviathan, the experts, though. What did you get back there? Then uh, Warrior of Light. Okay. okay. Uh, and yeah. then lightning goes back to hand. Make him, make him pay for it, Ben. Always make him pay for it. Looks like Ben has got the Coup Sith, so he can Coup Sith the Zidane and play it, which I... Okay. I to be honest, I... I can see he's got an Elvis in hand as, uh, in break as well. Would it have not been good to get that back with the Kusa? Leave the Lightning on field and just kill it instead. So Thorden going to go searching. Maybe he searches an Elvis here off the Thorden. There's no forwards on board. No. Threaten yeah. to kill whatever Dan plays next turn. And Warrior Light is now alive as well. Yeah, definitely very relevant, that, especially if we know we've got it back off the Leviathan. So having a long hard think about what we grab here, so um, see Okay oh. Gage Hunter. I mean you, you, you got you gotta think oh, that the uh, the Turks are gonna go wide, right? And this is there kind is of putting a kind of put a kobosh on that real early. There is the oh, we see a Sephiroth in hand there. So Sephiroth, Al Sid, Weiss. I mean Dan's hand is stacked. Yeah, really nice card too. Uh, yeah, I'll see it. Into the... Weiss. The Vice is smart here because you can Del Freeze a backup and start him, stop him playing Warrior right next No, time. he's Del Freeze okay. forward. I, I, I think you Del Freeze a backup and stop them play. Oh, oh yeah, yeah. So Al Sid freezes. Of the yeah, yeah, of Sid freezes the arc and then Vice Del Freezes stops them playing the... And you kind of you kind of leave it there because what it means is that Ben really has to shunt Toto here. And um, what you can do is you can then back you can just back attack Sephiroth in and get attack discard triggers because it's going to cost Ben most of his hand to shunt Toto. Yeah. So he's left with two cards in hand. I wonder if at the end of turn you back attack Sephiroth just to no. nope okay just to be able to oh, attack. We didn't see the coup, the the case here. I think he probably plays the case Sith now anyway, right? Yeah, right. You... Removed from game that uh, War of Light we know that. Ben has. Unless he's forgotten about that. Uh, I'd hope not. Uh, so, no, no, Light is just going to come down. He's going to get the haste yeah, in. Uh, okay, he's not going for the pass. The I told you, he's forgotten about it. Yeah, I would have, I would have, uh, Kate Sith and just RFG'd that yeah, one. Like, oh man, look at that full art. Very and, nice. and Dan, I'm trying real hard to be nice to you here. You're not making it easy, bro. I guess you have ways <laughs> in hand of. Of dulling and freezing, and you another arc. Here we go. Slip some cards. Oh, warrior of light, warrior of light. Oof, and a gallop. I mean, yeah, you take the gallop here because I mean, do you not maybe just stack a warrior of light for later? Yeah, good point, actually. But uh, I think in this matchup, I think warrior of light is more likely to be dull and frozen than killed. I mean, a mistrack is not terrible, absolutely not. Especially, if, I imagine Dan maybe playing the Shantoto forward that gets. Characters back from Brixham. Here comes Warrior Light. What are we going to hit? Damage. It's an Elena. So, well, 
We've got three three minutes, or just actually just under four minutes on the legit round here, so if these guys best hurry this game up, or we're going to have to skip over this, get the next pair in, and do final round. It will be final round. Mm. I wonder who we're going to have. I assume we'll have two XOs. I wonder who they will be. Uh, we'll see if they've been on the stream already. If not, maybe we'll get some new people on. Oh, there's the rammer again. Okay, so rammer is going to come down. I assume he's going to dull... The Warrior of Light and maybe 5k there. So cancelling it with the Mist Dragon. Yeah, it makes sense. Okay. Feels like Dan's just trying everything and anything here, but. The Ark is getting the buff as it stands as well, right? So yeah. you can't even Reno into like new rude Dell and Freeze Warrior of Light. So he's just going to attack with lightning, dull warrior of light, and then break pay the two warrior, to break yeah. the warrior of light. Smashy, smashy. Uh, so yeah, gets the trade. Why is that the trade? Was Ark uh, Ark not bigger? Why is that Ark's only forward on board? Oh, then yeah, I think uh, so slight I mistake. There. I mean, it's a friendly, right? Are we uh, are we gonna make you get your skates on? No. You you seem tired. I I'm tired. We know it's a misplay, guys. Uh, it's fine. Uh, Maybe it's not a misplay. Maybe I'm so tired I'm missing missing something. I'm I'm hoping you're not because I'm fully back in here. <laughs> yeah, I, th I I don't know why the don't know why the lightning died then. <laughs> so Reeve coming down. Um, yep. Searching out Vincent. It's gonna freeze three backups, not three characters like I thought. Uh, okay, so it looks like we've hit the other Legend Rufus. This is the one from way back when, the Lightning 4CP one that is 5k, searches a Turk when it enters. So. Oh, it's a proxy. So it's a proxy for the Rufus. Rufus is going to come down, Dull and Freeze, Warrior of Light. Uh, Oh, it looks, it looks like Ben's hand is fully stacked for those Brasker S effects as well. Yeah. He's and, then, and then he's just going to go straight in on the Sephiroth to kill that War of Light. Nip it in the bud before it causes any more harm. Oh, so he's just going to cast it. Get to draw. Pulls on a Sura. Oh, is that... Can he get the Sedan back? Yeah, so using that Warrior of Light ping on Rufus and then Brynhilde finish off getting a draw. Nice clean answer from Ben there. So let's see if we can. So we're going to Kusith, get back a Warrior of Light. And then, I mean, I'm assuming I tap one for a zero and tap backups. Yeah. And then before you do that, you bring Hilda now on the Sephiroth. Tap one, Azura, untap everything. Tap four, Warrior of Light, reactivate, draw. You then attack the Warrior of Light and on the attack, tap it, 5k, Sephiroth. Yeah. As if played by a pro. And he hits Sephiroth on damage. <laughs> Uh, and a zero. Zero. That would have been nice because I could have kept the Warrior of Light first. Oh, he's just top deck Zeromus. So he's top deck Zeromus. So he could play Zeromus, freeze Warrior of Light, attack with Zeromus, freeze Braska. What other options have we got, got in hand? Two in hand, so he's got the Fissilis, right? He's got Rufus. Uh, he's got Reno and Rude. I think you play the Zeromus, right? And freeze the Warrior of Light. Yeah. I feel like you've got to come up with an answer for that Braska though, because no one. Well, luckily, that. luckily, Zeromus is one k bigger than the Braska pings. So five CP, Vesalis, yeah. and Free. Okay, get yeah, for the draw. Probably because we're gonna get the Zeromus to attack in and Dullen freeze the uh, uh, Braska, or just freeze the Braska. Sorry. Yeah. Oh, Amber. Set. Never punished, bro. Never punished. But at least you know he can't grab an Elbus that he can then play because the backup line is full. No, but you can just get something for discard and CP. Do you know what I would love to see right now? I would love to see a Braska Grand Summon to finish this game off. Which I believe we should be able to do here with a summon in hand. Paying all the different colours we need to 
Edge of Essence. Yeah. Edge and of discard Essence. the summon. Yeah. Yeah. Grand summon. Break Boom. those two. Deal a point damage. Yeah. And, and that's it. Oof. That's game. As, what as a if, great way to finish. Yeah. That was cool. Played like a pro, man. That was awesome to watch. Yeah. And that was cool. All right. Uh, cool. We're going to get to be right back. Uh, and then we're going to be bringing you the final round. Yep. Catch you all in a moment. <laughs>